Good afternoon. We're currently waiting for an update from police about two big shootings in Portland last night. You can see it's going to be a virtual news conference. We will bring it to you live once it does begin. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Pat Doris. It was a violent night in Portland with two major shootings taking place across the city. This afternoon, investigators are still putting all the pieces together. The first happened in southwest Portland, where an apartment resident told us one of his neighbors opened fire on police who then shot back and killed the person. It happened on Broadway Drive near Markham Nature Park just before 645 last night. No other details were released about the incident. And yes, we have asked police if the shooter had obvious mental health issues. No word on that. The other violent incident we're expecting to hear about involves six people who were shot near Normandale Park in Northeast Portland last night. Officers were called to Northeast 55th and Haslow just after 8 o'clock. That's where our Christelle Kumwe joins us now live with the latest. Christelle? Yes, Pat, and police say it all started with a confrontation between an armed a homeowner and protesters and neighbors here tell us they heard up to 15 gunshots. The shooting happened near Normandale Park. According to flyers on social media, a group of demonstrators had planned to gather at the park to protest the police shooting of a black man in Minneapolis earlier this month. As a crowd of protesters gathered near the park, police say there was a confrontation between an armed homeowner and armed protesters and then the shooting began. Last night, I mean, it was just basically mayhem up here. Police were called to the shooting near Northeast 55th Avenue in Hasselow Saturday night around 8. I was in my bedroom uh, right at 8 o'clock. I heard it uh, sounded about to be uh, 8 to 10 consecutive gunshots. Chelsea Blando lives in nearby apartments. Um, I came out up front along with pretty much everybody in my complex, and there were about, it looked like the entire police force of Portland came out all kinds of emergency vehicles here. Two ambulances leaving, and then all several more ambulances right here on Haslow, 55th, cop cars, fire engine. Uh, stretchers were being loaded at that time. One victim, a woman, was found dead when officers arrived on the scene. Portland police say five other people were hit by gunfire. Two men and three women were taken to the hospitals for treatment. Two people were taken into custody. I did hear yelling when we were standing out here. It sounded like confrontation between cops and I guess somebody who was being arrested. Longtime Portlanders like Joe Dixon say it was only a matter of time before a shooting happened this close to home. It doesn't really surprise me that uh, we had a shooting in, in the neighborhood because there are shootings everywhere around here. Now, Portland police say they are still putting the pieces together, and this incident is very complicated. And as of right now, they're asking the public, anyone with information, to reach out to Portland police. Pat? Thank you, Christelle. Well, Mayor Ted Wheeler and Police Chief Chuck Lavelle remain silent about the violence this weekend. District Attorney Mike Schmidt sent out a statement. He says his heart goes out to anyone who lost a loved one due to the violence. As District Attorney, he continues, he remains committed to holding those committing violence accountable. In the meantime, there are still some people who are so angry with police for whatever reason that they will take any opportunity to berate them. That happened in downtown Portland this morning while police were giving an update to members of the press. Several people began screaming and interrupting the officer. There were several expletives filled accusations laid out against police, Mayor Ted Wheeler and members of the press and others. At one point, a protester just started yelling the name of a far white right wing author. The officer stepped to the side during the incident, as you can see, and then later tried to leave when it was clear the aggressors would not stop. Several of them blocked the officer's car from going forward. He then backed away and went down a different street. The Lane County Sh Sheriff's Office is investigating a deadly shooting involving three victims that happened early last week in their county. It rocked the small community of Deadwood. That's an unincorporated area of the county. It's a community with a population of just 300 people located off Highway 36. That's where police say a 25 year old allegedly opened fire on the victims after a dispute. For the small community of Deadwood, the incident is shocking. Still don't know what to say about it. I'm not sure. I don't know the whole truth about what happened yet, and I may never, you know. 
The 25 year old was arrested at his home on Wednesday and is now facing multiple charges, including one count of second degree murder. Let's check in live now at the news conference where police are updating us on the two big shootings from last night. Here we go. Um, so um, to begin with, um, I would like to talk real quick about an incident that happened this last Thursday. Uh, members of the new focused intervention team uh, were out patrolling and they uh, they tried to stop a car that began driving erratically um, and took off from them. Uh, an officer tried to deploy stop sticks, which are meant to um, flatten tires uh, on the on ramp to ID4 at uh, 39th. Um, and as the vehicle went by, someone in the vehicle sh started shooting at the at the officer. Fortunately, the officer was not injured um, and uh, the vehicle was later apprehended in Washington. So I wanted to thank um, our partners up in Washington and uh, also thank the officers that are showing up every day. Um, you know, I think this might be the third time our officers have been shot at in six months and it's it's, it's a little dangerous for them, but they're still showing up. Um, they still want to make a difference in the community. Um, so that happened last Thursday. Uh, can everyone hear me okay, by the way? Okay. Um, second uh, uh, incident I want to talk about. Um, so just uh, before 7 p.m. at around 645 last night, officers were dispatched to the 900 block of Southwest Broadway Drive. Um, and they were dispatched to a disturbance call. But before they got there, while, while they were still en route, uh, they were updated by radio that there were shots being fired. Uh, so officers showed up, um, they set up a perimeter, um, and they began to investigate and address um, the apartment that they were told uh, a suspect might be in. During the course of this investigation, an officer-involved shooting happened. Um, officers had previously put in a um, uh, an order to um, shelter in place, uh, and they were able to lift that after after the officer involved incident. Um, it's tragic for everyone involved, um, but it's something we're still working working through here. Um, so during around that same time, uh, across town. So although that incident started at 6:45, it, it, it took a while to progress. Uh, officers in North Precinct got a call uh, in the area 55 in Haslow. Uh, that there had been a shooting. Uh, they showed up and found that one female uh, was deceased and five others uh, were injured by a gunfire. And that was a, a very chaotic scene um, from what I'm being told. Um, you know, there, there were a lot of people there, but there weren't a lot of people who, who wanted to talk with police. Um, and detectives believe there are quite a few people who either witnessed the incident or recorded it on video. And so they are asking, please, 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 if you know something, if you saw something, or if you recorded it, please give it to them. Because they, they are trying to put together a very complex puzzle without all the pieces, and they need the community's help. Um, and so, yeah, a, a lot of people, a lot of people left without talking with police. And um, that's one way we, we help solve uh, crime is with the help of the community. Um, so three very, um, very intense, very critical incidents. Um, and um, we're doing our best uh, to address it. The, the chief is fully aware of all this and so is the mayor. Um, and we are keeping them informed as things go along. Uh, one thing I, I did not mention was uh, the preliminary investigation of the shooting at 55 and, and Haslow is that um, there was a confrontation between uh, an armed neighbor and armed protesters. And that, that makes it um, very complicated, very intricate um, uh, incident that, that we are still working through. So that is what I have. Um, if you have any questions for me, please ask. Again, I, I believe I've given you everything I have. I know a number of news agencies are contacting me and saying, hey, neighbors at the officer involved said someone came out and was shooting. I can't confirm that. I, I don't know. We are at the very beginning stages of the investigation, and there's a lot that goes into it. Um, so I think a first is um, Alex. Do you have a question? And I, I do I need to, uh, let me see. Yeah, I think I'm unmuted. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, my question uh, is just regarding the um, Haslow shooting. 
Um, was any has anyone been arrested tied to that incident either um, you know last night on the scene or during all right that's Lieutenant Nathan Shepard with Portland Police by the way that was our question asking about the mental health issue in my experience police typically will put out a statement like they did and then basically have no other information that they're going to share of course an officer involved shooting they clamp that down very tightly and also now you have a murder investigation from the Haslow uh, shooting so basically police were just saying what we already know but one of the important parts is if you know anything they would love to hear from you